Hello and welcome to my review of the Space Marines Sergeant Jovan or Jovan. I just thought I'd put some of the Eldar models out from the, the new releases to give you an update and to say that the reviews are coming very, very soon. We've had some new Chaos Knights models, um, which I would like to put out first. Then all the Warhammer <laughs> Imperium uh, magazines have dropped this week as well. Uh, so you won't have too much longer to wait for these. Um, I just thought I would um, give you an update and put out the Knight content and the uh, Warhammer Imperium content out first. Uh, pretty much all the Eldar are almost ready to go. Uh, so I thought I'd um, put that in front of this video. On with the review of Sergeant Jovan. Okay, so here he is uh, a day later, just because finally the uh, Adeptus Titanicus Direwolf um, Titan, Heavy Scout Titan, uh, decided to arrive. Um, but still, I wanted to get this review out pretty quick, close to his um, unboxing. And I did actually pick him up about two months ago now. Uh, a friend... Um, picked him up for me at one of the store's anniversaries um, and yeah, I, I just had to. I think this was last year sometime. Um, it was a store anniversary and he's uh, been keeping it for me um, for quite a while. You know who you are. Um, so this is Sergeant Jovan. He hasn't got any special particular rules. Uh, this is his instruction guide, which we had a look in the unboxing and his rules are well, just over sort of five pages in different languages. Um, the rules that he has are just for the uh, intercessor squad. Um, so I will go through the normal intercessor sergeant rules. I mean, it would be cool if uh, the sergeant had uh, particular rules, um, but normally sergeants don't. Normally it's captains or chapter masters or sort of other named characters that do. Sometimes uh, Games Workshop do this. Anyway, let's have a closer look at the model itself. Um, fantastic looking mini. Uh, it's Primaris and they're doing these, these characters now and again. Um, he doesn't come with a helmeted version uh, because he's holding his uh, helmet under his arm. Uh, the armor is dotted with, um, you know, dents from uh, bullets and shrapnel and all sorts. Uh, this is one of the first um, Primaris to have a, a chainsaw. Um, you know, this chainsaw has gone, you know, partly through the orc. I would say maybe the orc is still alive, even with, you know, all of his limbs and things off. Um, orcs are incredibly survivable. Um, just look at Gaskell, uh, you know, um, and the might of Gork and Mork. But still, um, this is uh, Jovan, he's got his pistol, he's got some uh, canisters. Important thing to note is one of the canisters is slightly open. Um, he's got a purity seal. Other than that, his power plant is quite straightforward, but it does have um, some pock marks and, um, you know, dents and things in it. No dents on the rear of his armor. Well, except for the side there near the tacit. Um, but it's a nice looking mini, um, you know, definitely strikes a pose, will stand out as one of your sergeants in, uh, you know, on the battlefield, on the table um, and in the collection. Um, yeah, I like, uh, you know, sergeants and things to sort of stand out and this is one of one such model. So that's uh, Sergeant Jovan. Okay, so this is my part of the review where I will just go through a few size comparisons. Um, you know, he is intercessor size, so I'll just compare him to a, a Space Marine, normal Space Marine. A fair bit bigger, of course. Um, and with Sly Marbo, massively bigger. Um, kind of what you expect in the new um, Space Marine 2 game later this year. And then here's another Primaris. They are pretty much the same height. Obviously, Jovan is in that, that pose with his, his leg up. Um, but if you had a, a group of intercessors, he's he's going to stand out just because of the size of the base more than anything. But he's going to look really cool, um, you know, with some assault intercessors. Because, yeah, although assault intercessors were out, um, I'm wondering whether they were kind of announced or built before this guy. Um, but either way, he's going to look great uh, in your intercessor squads. I'll just go through the um, Space Marine intercessor uh, squad rules, uh, which you can find in your ninth edition uh, codex. It was one of the first uh, codexes to 
to be released actually. Um, <laughs> I kind of just call it the uh, Primaris Codex. Um, but yeah, Intercessor Squad, uh, the Sergeant has a movement of six inches, uh, weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill three plus, strength and toughness are both four, two wounds, three attacks, leadership eight, and a save of three plus. They're equipped with a bolt pistol, bolt rifle, frag grenades, and crack grenades. If the Intercessor Sergeant is not equipped with an Astartes Chainsaw, a Power Sword, Power Fist, Thunder Hammer, Bolt, uh, it's bolt rifle, auto bolt rifle, or stalker bolt rifle. It can be replaced with one of the following hand flamer, one plasma pistol, one Astartes chainsword, one power sword. Uh, if the intercessor sergeant is not equipped with an Astartes chainsword or power sword, it can be equipped with one of the following Astartes chainsword, power fist, power sword, thunder hammer. So there you go. Uh, the abilities Angels of Death and Combat Squads, keywords Imperium, Adeptus Astartes, Infantry. Core, Primaris, Intercessors, Intercessor Squad. Uh, so there you go. That's my kind of short review of um, Sergeant Jovan. What do you guys think? Please put your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Um, it'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.